guys, it's Scarlett Buttercross, and today I'm going to show you how I painted this paint by line kangaroo. And this is a paint by line cutout, so that means that all these lines are etched into the cutout. You don't have to worry about freehanding anything. It makes it very easy. I'm going to go in first with the color Pine Cone by Dixie Bell. And the paint that I'll be using throughout this video will be Dixie Bell paint. If you guys are interested in checking out this paint or this cutout, you can purchase them both on our website, buttercross.com. And if you guys have any questions or comments, make sure to just write them in the comments below or send us a message and we will be happy to help. I'm just going in and painting like the first um, part of their fur in the color pine cone and I will be doing like their belly um, area a different color. I'll be using uh, putty, which is just a light tan color. Next, I'm going in with the color soft pink and I'm painting the inside of their ears and also their nose. And now I'm going in with the color putty and painting their bellies. I've allowed everything to dry completely and now I'm going to go in with my Sharpie brush stroke marker and outline everything. And this marker just makes this very easy, but of course if you would like to go in with paint instead, I would recommend a number zero round and some watered down black paint. Um, but of course I just want to show you guys this marker just to show you how easy it will be. And I'm just following the lines that are etched into the cutout for me. And after that, I will go in with a little bit of white paint and a number one or two round and highlight everything a little bit. And the highlighting step, of course, is totally optional. But I like to do it to brighten everything up and add a little bit of life to it. Uh, but of course, just skip it if you don't feel comfortable with it. And then after that, I will be done. I really hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. And uh, make sure to let me know what you think in the comments. And I think this will be really cute in a nursery or to even do with your little girl or little boy. I think this would be a great little project to do. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this and have a wonderful day.